Okay, welcome everyone. We're in part two of a video tutorial on taking Building Construction Illustrated and transferring that into Revit drawings. We're looking at a typical 2x6 wall construction for a residential home. So, getting into it. In this part of the video, um, we're going to basically take masking region, detail components, and detail lines to further illustrate correctly how this would be built in a uh, section view. So in the section view, continuing where we left off, made a rafter um, a roofing system. And I did that in the level one view. And if you don't know how to make a uh, roof with uh, overhang and all that other good stuff, feel free to watch another video on how to do that. Under structure, here's the structure. So if you want to pause the video, this, this is a structure that I used for the roofing system. And what I've done then is helped the systems interact a little bit better by using masking region. So I'm going to go into my shaded view here. And I want to point out all the white areas I've used something called a masking region to then hide what uh, Revit was showing before. So here I hid the top of the, uh, the concrete wall here um, just as it sat underneath our subfloor. And uh, what I've done is went to annotate tab under region. I went to masking region and I chose an invisible line boundary. And I drew that boundary around the actual uh, foundation, the top of the foundation wall. And that made room for a 2x6 mud sill to sit right on top of it, which will eventually uh, we'll detail out as being J bolted in. I did the same thing with the bottom of the uh, wall here where our siding uh, interacted with the bottom of the uh, wall system. And then I used a uh, detail line. So under the annotate tab, I went to uh, detail line. And I just drew that line down and over to show that our siding was going to continue down and then overlap uh, below the mud sill, um, below the seam of the foundation, just a little bit. So I went about an inch lower than what was showing. And then same thing here, I used one giant masking region to mask out where the wall system met with the top of the floor system. And the finished floor used to be right here. And I wanted to hide that seam because our finished floor, when it's built, is done one of the it's one of the last elements to be built uh, in construction here um, because we don't want it to get damaged during the process. So this wall actually stacks on top of the plywood subfloor and so we had a masking region that out and then put in uh, a couple detail components which I'll show in a second and uh, a masking region uh, also hit the bottom of the plywood and the uh, drywall with that in then I continued with detail line to draw the drywall all the way down to the plywood subfloor and same thing with the sheathing and then that made the appearance that our finished floor just bumps right into that drywall at the end. And then same thing with the top, use detail line um, to show the drywall and a, uh, and a ceiling joist here. So seven and a quarter inches from the top of the ceiling joist to the bottom of it. And that bottom of the ceiling joist had to interact with the uh, double top plate that I threw in here and then uh, drywall right below that at a half inch lower than the bottom of our ceiling. And I also did one more masking region just right here at the seam of our, our wall, drywall, as it came up. So then that way I can give the appearance that our ceiling drywall is sitting on top of that. And once again, if I take out the shaded view, go to hidden line, you'll see what I mean. Now it looks like our ceiling drywall is sitting on top of our wall drywall. So the only thing you don't really know how to do right now is how to bring in these detail components. And to do that, what I need to do is go into the annotate tab. It's important that we get to it this way, annotate tab, we're going to load in component, load family, and we go down to detail items. Under detail items, you're going to go to wooden plastic, and you're going to go to wood framing. In wood framing, you're looking for a nominal cut lumber section which is a section view of that. We're going to say OK and open. And we're going to go down by type to our 2 by material, 2 by 6, 5 half by 1 half. say OK. If you don't see it, look at your type selector and make sure you have it selected in there. 
and you can hit spacebar to rotate that. The key locations for this for us right now is that this is inside of the wall cavity where our 2x6 framing is in our wall and we're snapping that so that way the bottom of it we can move that and rest it move that and rest it by grabbing its corner and clicking and placing um, essentially uh, this outside corner would be a little bit easier clicking and placing where that interacts with the plywood and the, uh, the plywood on the, the sheathing for the wall and the plywood subfloor and we want to snap that right there um, for our mud sill kind of same thing but we want to move that from maybe its top corner here where it sits just below the floor joist and snap that just like so and our masking region would be behind that um, so I'm take that and delete it up and then our masking region right would be right behind that and you can move the masking region forward and backward much like you would um, with like a PowerPoint slide image you can move it forward or backward and up here double top plate kind of same way you can click on any of those two by sixes right click and just say uh, create similar as a shortcut to get to it spacebar flips it the main area that you want to move this 2x6 double top plate, you're going to start with the, the, the top most, grab it from its corner, and you want that to interact with the inside of the 2x6 framing, just where it meets the roof rafter. We want to show that this roof rafter is cut around our wall. And that's called a bird's mouth cut. And this seat cut comes straight from where the roof rafter bumps into the 2x6 and over and then it exits out with a heel cut plumb with the wall right down here and then you stack your bottom uh, your first top plate just below that second top plate um, so that's everything you need to know to be able to illustrate up to this point on our, our uh, detail system here for a typical 2x6 wall um, there are some other methods on how to do this but this is just one of many and this meets code um, if you have any comments or any suggestions feel free to comment below don't forget to save and subscribe.